Hello, are we there? Are we live? I think we are. Fingers crossed, hope. So, hello. Good afternoon. Welcome. My name is Emma. I am coming to you here from Costa de Guiz in Lanzarote. Yep, we have been locked up now for these seven weeks, but tomorrow they're going to let us out. And we're going to be able to do some exercise outside in the fresh air. Today I'm going to bring you a Pilates workout, short, 30 minutes. Um, my name is Emma, if you don't mind me. I've been working at Club Santa for whoa, nearly 14 years now, and I've been doing Pilates weeks um, at Club La Santa since 2016. Today we're just going to do a little 30 minute to break up your day workout. Um, we're going to start in standing. So hopefully we're all there. Just checking it's working, it's working, working, working. Just really trying to make this camera fit. <laughs> Try not to hit my lights fitting here. So we're going to start in standing. Hopefully you can see most of me. I'll stand right at the back here to start with so you can see when I'm standing. So are we ready to go? Fingers crossed, hopefully, let's get cracking. So, I'm just going to switch my television off. Forgot to do that to start with. Um, where is the light? There we go. Television is now off, and now we're ready to go. So, we're going to start standing. Nice, beautiful standing posture. Very, very quickly. We're going to start from the bottom feet, hip width. So you should have around about two fist width distance in between your feet. That is going to get you more or less the right position. Equal weight on each foot, weight in the center of each foot. Knees, they want to be long and straight, but they're not locked. So we don't want to push them back. We don't want to be pushing them back from that push back position. Just take slightly soften from here. If you're slouching, if you're around and you want to stand really beautiful and long and tall, imagine you're being drawn up through the top of the head. So we're really lovely and long through our bodies. Then we're going to take a few big shoulder rolls. We're going to lift them up, back and down. All the way around. Big shoulder rolls. So we lift them up, back and slide the shoulder blades down the back. And then last one, we're just going to hold the shoulders very slightly back and down. So we want to lightly squeeze our shoulder blades together. But the arms are really loose and relaxed by the sides and the palms should face in towards each other. Chin, tucking it, very slightly backing in. So the back of the neck is really, really long and we should be looking out straight in front of us at eye level. Then just very, very lightly squeeze your bottom and very gently draw the belly button into the spine. And this is going to get us nice and ready to go. Before we start, we just want to talk to you very quickly about breathing. We're going to breathe in through the nose. And we're going to breathe out through the nose or the mouth. It's completely up to you, whatever feels better. I'm going to give you breathing patterns all the time. If you can follow them, that is absolutely amazing, okay? If you find what I say about breathing confusing, Ignore me, breathe any way you like, but keep breathing. So let's go from here, stand body long and tall, take a deep breath in, let's get warm as we exhale, lift the arms, shoulders stay down, breathe in. As we exhale, lift them, we're going to lean the body across to the right side, reaching with your fingers, inhale centre. We're going to exhale, lean across the other way, reach, inhale centre. Taking one more time to each side, find a lovely opening down the side of the body, letting the whole upper body move as one. Beautiful. Inhale, center. Now as we exhale, we're going to bring the arms to the side. We're going to bring the chin to the chest. We're going to roll halfway down through upper, middle, lower back. Soften the knees and bring the hands to the thighs so we're rounding through the back. Then we're going to breathe in, let the back arch the head lift and the chest open. We exhale round and tuck the chin. Breathe in, we arch, open. Exhale round and tuck. One more time, breathe in, getting lovely movement, flexion, extension into our spine. And then exhale, we round and roll the body back up. As the head lifts, the arms lift again, breathe in. Exhale, lift and lean, reach. Inhale, find 
find center. Exhale, lean the other way. Inhale, center. Take one more time each side. Each repetition, maybe we find as the back gets warmer, we can move a little bit further. Inhale, center. As we exhale, arms down, chin to chest, roll all the way down. This time when we get to the bottom, just pause. We're going to hold here, letting the head be really heavy. Inhale and exhale, roll all the way back up. As the head lifts, the arms lift, breathe in, shoulders down. Exhale, lean and reach. Taking two times, two repetitions each side. Just feel in the back. Getting warmer, the sides opening. Last time. This time when we roll down, we're going to stay down at the bottom, coming all the way down. Arms really heavy like a monkey. Take a hold of your elbows with the hands and just start to gently let the upper body rock from one side to the other. Head is heavy, shoulders are relaxed. Opening up here through the lower back, through the hamstring, back to the thighs. Find your centre, breathe in. Exhale, release the arms and roll your body back up. Head, arms, breathe in. Exhale, lift and lean, leaning across. Take your two times each side. I'm just going to move position, preparing for the next part. So gently... Find those lovely side bends. And this time we roll down, coming all the way down. And we're going to bring our hands flat to the floor, bending the knees as much as necessary to let the hands come down flat. We inhale, then we're going to exhale. We're going to walk out, we're going to pause and find our high plank position. Perhaps you want to stay on your toes, perhaps you want to come down onto your knees. Choose whichever option works best for you. We squeeze the bottom, we lift the belly into the spine, press the hands really strongly into the floor, tuck the chin, take a one more deep inhale, and then we exhale. We're going to come and sit back into child's pose and take a little breather. <sighs> Awesome. Okay, so we're going to come and do some work now on our hands and our knees. So, we're going to bring the wrists directly under our shoulders and the knees directly underneath our hips. We want a really long spine, gently lifting the belly up, sliding the shoulders away from our ears and tucking the chin slightly back and in. From here, we're going to start really easy and then we're going to add on. So we breathe in, hold. And as we exhale, we're going to extend out, long and straight. And then if you want, we lift up, thumbs pointing up, toes pointing down. Inhale, wrist under shoulder, knee under hip. We change sides, exhale, stretch and lift. So we need to think here about length. Arm and leg are really long and the body is really still. Only moving your arm and your leg. So we can stay with this. This is going to be your level one option. Okay, if you want more, have a look for level two. I'm going to show you from the front. So we're going to exhale, lift, and reach out. And as we breathe in, we're going to open the arm and legs slightly to the side. They're going to move the same distance. One long line, fingertips to heels. Exhale, center, and inhale, reset. So we breathe out, stretch, lift, thumbs up, toes down. Breathe in, open slightly. In, exhale, center, inhale, resting back down. Okay? So we need to imagine you've got one long line, fingertips to heel all the time. And you move that arm and leg to the side, they move as one. And if you visualize your clock face, when the arms are up and out straight, 12 and 6, when they're on the angle, we want 1 and 7, or 11 and 5 o'clock as a rough guy. Okay? Keeping that body really, really still. So, if you want a little bit more, you can continue or come with me. So we're going to repeat three times on the same side. So we're going to exhale, lift and open. And then we're going to come and touch in. So we exhale, lift. We inhale, open slightly. 
Exhale, centre. Inhale, hand touches knee. So the body is going to stay completely still. How many have I done there? You want to do three on each side. So three. Of course, it doesn't matter if you do two, if you do four. If you lose count, don't worry. But the body, super still. Strong, looking straight down at the floor, underneath your eyes. Okay, just continue there. I want you to take one more round on each side. Let's just see everything's going well here. Hello, everybody. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like my face that close. <laughs> so finish your round, taking one. And when you've done your last one, just again, just sit back onto your heels and take a lovely stretch. When we come into child's pose, you can have your knees close or as I like to do, take your knees nice and wide and let the chest come down in between your legs. Forehead rest down, forearm rest down, and then just breathe and relax. Hopefully, we're done. And we're going to move on to our next exercise. So we're going to take one more here on our hands and knees. We're going to find that lovely box position again. Knees under hips, tops of feet to floor, wrists under shoulders, and spreading our fingers out nice and wide. So we spread the weight out through the hand, and we're not taking it all through the wrist. So, it doesn't matter which side you start on, we're going to take three rounds. So we're going to start. As we breathe in, we're going to bring the thumb to the shoulder. We inhale, we lift the elbow up, look to the elbow, and as we exhale, we're going to reach the hand through, slide in the back of the hand on the floor, then shoulder, breast down. You're going to take three times, inhale, lift, and we exhale to reach through. Keeping the lower body still as you can, just rotating through the upper body. When you've done your three, we inhale, and then we reset. And we do the same on the other side, so I'll show you from the front. So we breathe in, thumb to shoulder, lift and twist through your mid-back. Watching, so watch your elbows as you lift, and then watching your fingers as you reach through. Taking three repetitions here. Let that shoulder come all the way to the floor by bending the hand, the elbow of the hand that's down. So that's your level one, if you want to repeat and continue with that. Or for level two, a little bit more challenging for your balance, but the body movement is the same. So extend the opposite leg to arm. But otherwise, you do the same. Breathe in, lift, and breathe out to reach through. We want to focus here on keeping the lower body still. So the movement here is exactly the same as it was before. You don't get more movement by lowering our, moving our lower body. When we've done our three, we reset, and we do exactly the same on the other side. Again, showing you from the front. Bring the shoulder all the way down. This is a beautiful spinal release. Really deep, full breath. And we reset. So, you can take one more round. You can do level one, level two, or if you want a little bit more challenge, we can go for level three. So, what do we do for level three? We're going to lift the leg, but otherwise, the movement is exactly the same. But this is going to challenge your balance a little bit more, or a lot more, maybe. So, we still want to keep the lower body as still as possible. Keeping that breath flowing, always breathing. Watching. And when you are done, you have three rounds on each side. We're going to come and sit back into child's pose. And rest again. And breathe. <clears throat> awesome, ok, 
Okay, let's move on. We're going to come, just check the time. We don't want to go too far over. I always tend to have a habit of running over. We're going to come into seated. So legs are out straight in front. About hip width apart again with your feet. Now to help you sit up tall, just lift your bottom and slide the flesh back. This slightly tilts your pelvis and allows you to sit taller easier. Lengthen the spine, shoulders back and down, arms forwards. Now one time only, we're going to roll all the way down to the floor. So chin to chest, belly to spine, come all the way down. Keeping your heels on the floor. If you need to use your hands to help, that is fine. Come all the way down, slowly, slowly, slowly. Hands to the floor. And then we bend the knees, slide the heels in close to your bottom. Okay? I'm going to do a couple of exercises here on our back. So before we start, before we do anything, we want to find neutral spine here lying down very, very quickly. Four things. Number one, your feet want to be hip width. So again, about two fists width distance between the feet, two fists width distance between the knees. Your bottom here, your glutes, right at the very top, right in the centre. We have a flat bow in our sacrum. This flat bow here wants to be flat into the floor. So just have a little play around, tilt your pelvis and come and find the flat position. Number three, ribs are soft. They want to be in and they are down. Okay, so your hip bones, the bony bits, and the lower part of the ribs are going to make a parallel line to the floor. So we want to keep this connection, this engagement between ribs and hips. Finally, just as we did in standing, chin, Tuck slightly back and in, so we really lengthen the neck, and we're looking straight up at the ceiling. So, let's go, I'll turn around this time. So from here, we're going to start nice and easy. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we're going to press the lower back down into the floor. We're going to lift the tailbone, the lower back, the middle back. We're going to come all the way up onto our shoulder blades. We breathe in. And then we're going to exhale, roll all the way back down, one vertebra at a time. Coming back down onto the floor and we breathe in, find and reset that neutral spine position. This is level one. We take one more time, level one, and then we're going to start to add on. Exhale, pressing down, lower back to floor, tilt, lift, lower, middle back. Come to rest just on your shoulder blades. Breathe in, hold. And then we breathe out, rolling down, one vertebra at a time, comes all the way down to the floor. And we inhale, find neutral spine. Let's add a little bit more. So if you want more, or you can stay with this. Exhale, press and roll all the way up, coming onto your shoulder blades. Inhale. As we exhale, keeping the hips level and lifted, we're going to lift one knee into the chest and we're going to stretch up, pointing the toes. Inhale, bend the knee and place the foot back down. Change sides. Exhale, knee in and stretch. Keeping the hips lifted. Inhale. Foot back to the floor and then exhale, roll all the way back down. And breathe in, find neutral spine. That's level two. Stay with that if you want, or we can add a little bit more. Exhale, press down, peeling each vertebra one at a time off the floor. Come up, breathe in. Exhale, in and lift, toes point. Breathe in, lower the leg till it's in line with the other one. Foot is flexed and exhale, lift and point. Inhale, lower and flex. Exhale, lift and point. We're going to take three times, down and up. And when you're done, we inhale, place the foot back down and we change sides. Exhale, in and lift, stretch and point. Breathe into lower. Exhale, lift and point. So we're going to engage the back of the body, the lower back, the glutes, the bottom and the hamstrings are working all the time to keep the body still. When we're done, we inhale, foot back down, and we exhale, roll all the way back down. And we breathe in, fine, neutral spine again. Let's have one final level. This is arms, okay? And you can choose whether they stay still or whether they're going to move, if you can coordinate. Exhale, press, and roll all the way up to the shoulder blades again. Breathe in. Arms lift, if you want. You can lift them all the way up. Maybe you want to stay on your forearms, or maybe they stay on the floor. Whatever you prefer. We're going to exhale, lift, and point. Now you can keep the arms where they are. We're going to move opposite arm to leg, away from each other. And then we lift and point. Inhale, lower and flex. Exhale.
exhale, lift and point. Three times again. Just as before, then we breathe in, come down, we change sides, exhale, lift, breathe into lower. Long arms, long legs. Whole back side of our body is working. When you've done your three, inhale, foot down. Exhale, roll back to the floor. And we breathe in, arms back to the sides. Let's take one more round. So find a round, whatever level works best for you. Arms or no arms, you choose. Really making sure that the hips are staying lifted. So the height you lift your hips to at the top is where they're going to stay all the time. What sometimes happens without us even realising is the hips just little by little start to sink towards the floor. Maybe we don't even notice it. So we really just got to think about keeping the hips lifted. And if you find the hips are coming down and you can't keep them up, take it back a level. And when we are done, foot to floor, exhale, roll back down. Breathe in, release your arms, and let's hug into the chest. Take a little release, and we breathe. Okay, next exercise is my absolute, absolute favourite. This is amazing. This is going to open up the chest, and it's going to release the back. Okay, so we're going to open our arms to the side. The palms are going to face up to the sky. Or the seat, depends on whether you're inside or outside. Now, we can always have our feet on the floor. This is always a regression you can take any time you want. Or, we have the knees above the hips. You can have the legs together, touching. Or you can have the knees and feet hip width apart. Whatever you prefer. Now, from here, we start with exercise one. Breathe in. As we exhale, we're going to roll the knees across to one side as far as you can. Keeping both shoulders, shoulder blades and arms on the floor. The arms are really light. Breathe in. We're going to breathe out, roll all the way across to the other side. Again, keeping grounded, anchoring through your upper body. Breathe in. And we breathe out, come all the way across. On number three, we're going to stay down. So we're going to let that bottom leg rest on the floor. Top foot rests on the bottom foot. And depending on your flexibilities, they're going to depend on where this top leg is. Then we're going to move our upper body. So as we exhale, this arm is going to come around. It's going to brush the hip, the thigh, the knee. We're going to reach further than that grounded hand. And then we breathe in to open up and out wide, watching the hand. Take three big circles. Exhale. Hip, thigh, knee. Reach. Open up wide. Take one more big, full, beautiful circle. We open the whole. Then we're going to change sides by taking three more rotations. So we're going to exhale, roll. Again, find that little hover above the floor, breathe in. Exhale, roll. So really want to think about really, really light with your arms. So we are using the core, we are using our obliques to perform this movement. Again, on number three, stay down and we hold and breathe in. Exhale, find the circle. Let the head follow the hand. All the way around. Keeping the knees as close together as you can. But keeping the fingertips on the floor. Tracing that lovely big circle. And number three, we stay open. We hold. We're going to take one more round to each side. So three of each. Three knee rolls, three circles, and one more time. So we move the legs. We're releasing a little bit more through our middle lower back. Can we move the arms a little bit more through mid and upper back? Slightly different release. Again, when the three are done, rotate. And these rotations are also amazing to open up our chest. And hopefully, you feel that each repetition gets a little bit easier as we warm and as we mobilise through our spine. Again, we've finished your three. We're going to finish the round. Roll across. 
light, light, light arms, almost like they're floating. You can even let the forearms lift very slightly and come down and finish with three big rolls. All the way around. The big rolls, big circles, the big beautiful full breaths. On that last one, we come back to centre and we hug the knees in one last time. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to come over and we're going to finish off now. So you can roll to your side and press up, or we can rock up and we come over back onto our knees. So we're going to go right back to the very, very beginning to finish off. Just a slight difference. Now we are nice and warm. So we're going to press onto our feet. So it's going to move back again so you can see me better. Very small camera angle here. So feet hip width apart, fingertips to floor. We're gonna stretch the legs and let the upper body fold. Take a little stretch here for our hamstrings. Bend the knees as much as you need to feel comfortable. So the chest is almost resting on the thigh. So let's finish off just as we started. As we exhale, we're gonna roll all the way back up. One vertebra at a time as the head lifts, the arms lift, the shoulders are down, the palms face each other, breathe in. Now this time, as we exhale, we're going to lift and we're going to keep the arms lifted as we lean slightly across. We inhale, centre, exhale, lift and lean. So it's a little bit more intense here. The beginning is a little bit more passive, this is a little bit more active. By keeping both arms lifted, now we're really warm. And we're going to roll down and exhale, come all the way down to the bottom. Letting the arms hang heavy like monkeys. Come to the bottom, hold your elbows and take that lovely little rock from side to side. Making the head again really heavy, just let it go. So forget about your head, let it hang. And breathe as we move. So we come to centre, inhale, exhale, arms release, roll the body back up again. As the head lifts, the arms lift, breathe in, exhale, lift, take that lovely side bend. Feel that side body open and stretch. Breathing as we move. So we take one more round, we exhale, come down, roll all the way down. When we get to the bottom again, find your elbows and rock. This last little opening for our lower back and for our hamstrings. Come and find centre. Breathe in and then exhale, release the arms, rolling back up. Head, arms, reach up, breathe in. Exhale, lift and lean, take your final two times to each side. Reaching out through your fingertips. Excellent. And then as we exhale, bring the arms down to the sides. Give everything a little shake, a little wiggle. <laughs> and there we go, we are done. So that was 30 minutes, pretty much on the dot. Wow, I always run over. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you want a little bit more, Monday morning, 8.15, a little bit earlier. We're going to do some wake-up Pilates. Whew, bright and early to get, to get out of bed. And just before we go, if you want to see a little bit of Lanzarote sun, if that's what you're missing right now, here we go. Outside of my living room window and my little palm tree. And there we go. Enjoy. See you on Monday.